Hi, in this video I'm going to continue building out the dashboard that we started in our last dashboard video for BERT iHub. Um, here's the sales dashboard um, that we started building and you can see we drill in by territory and we see the actual individual salesperson and we can drill out. Um, and so let's do another tab where we um, uh, create a customers tab. Uh, so that we can click on our individual tabs and have different widgets or charts to drill in and drill out of. Okay, on this tab, um, let's uh, let's see our data first. Make sure our data is okay. So we, we're still connected to our sales data design file, our our cube file, and um, let's pull in a chart. So let's do a column chart and let's select our customer data cube and remember I went over this um, in a previous video how to create these data sets um, based upon a SQL database um, let's create um, let's start with territory and then um, notice how you're gonna be able to drill into the actual account from the territory there and here let's have the subtotal and the total amount due Cool. So there's our um, our territories, and then we drill down, and you can actually see the actual customer numbers themselves. And then you can drill down to the customer and see the actual sales orders. And then you can see on that sales order the corresponding PO. And I can drill up. I can click on it, drill back up drill up again back to our territories so you can see you can really drill in um, to multiple levels here um, let's do another one and we'll go ahead and create a pie chart next to this let's just rename this Let's go ahead and rename this. I'm going to name this tab. We're going to call this customers. And let's do one more chart here and we're going to do a pie chart. And again, I'm going to go ahead and click the um, select the customer data cube. And um, here I'm just going to choose territory. And for the value, I'm going to choose total due. Let's move those where they're side by side. And let's go ahead and rename this. Oops, we already named that one. Name this one. All right, so again, you could drill in. So here's France. We'll drill in, and you can see all of the individual customers um, in pie chart form for France. And then if I want to drill into a particular customer, you can see the sales order associated with that. And then if I want to drill into the corresponding purchase order, I can do so. And then I'll go ahead and drill back up, drill up, drill up. So you can really see how you can um, create a dashboard so that you can interactively slice and dice your data um, from a web page. And so uh, finally, I will just go ahead and save this. And now um, when we go to our portal, um, I've saved it as a um, sales dashboard so that I can then you know give anybody access to this as well as embed it in a website.
come to run our report and you can see I can click on the user end user can click on the various tabs here and I could continue to build out different um, tabs with different widgets and multiple widgets per page um, based upon whatever data source I want to build out my dashboard.